in New York City, in the Lower East Side, where I live, the canners I see in my neighborhood are primarily women who are in their 60s, 70s, somewhere in their 50s. They are uh, immigrants. When the garment industry left Chinatown and left New York City, there are many women who were very independent, earning a good wage despite hard work. They were left with no protection. They had to, you know, struggle to find new ways of paying their bills and, you know, supportive of their family. Uh, so they started picking out these five cents cans. About five, six years ago, and I kept seeing the same lady going through this, the piles of recycling in the morning on a Saturday. And I, after a while, I, I make friends with her, say hello, we develop a relationship. I just had this urging to, to paint. Here is this lady and many other ladies, uh, seniors, invisible people on our streets who are picking out our garbage, collecting our excesses, and getting it to a place where it could be recycled. Yet, we value their work at five cents a can. Art is, um, it gets to the primitive part of our brain, I think. It's just colors, images. It's pretty and it could be non-political. We could talk about the issue addressed by what's in the painting, or we could just talk about the painting itself as a piece of art. I named the, the exhibit Five Cents a Can, making visible the invisible, because five cents, that's all they were getting. I think that really gets at people. I think in New York City, we only have it for the aluminum cans. So we month. framed a nickel, and we called it the precious royal nickel. Uh, we framed it like it's something really important. We, we decided to get the actual shopping carts that canners used. We decided to show the, the shoes that they wore, the gloves that they used. Uh, and we decided to actually build a gold mountain, you know, with the cans. And we decided to paint them gold with a little bit of dark humor because it's five cents, but, you know, we treat them as if it's sufficient for people to survive on. I've launched the Make It 10 Cents campaign uh, at the opening of the exhibit. It's been five cents for almost 40 years. It's time to make it 10 cents. And I think by just simply stating that we should make it 10 cents, it is grabbing the attention of a lot of young people because it's real and they could do something about it.